Brian J. Lacey uh, was an English actor, stage screen, and television who enjoyed a long and varied career Brian in Britain and in the United States. Now his first Broadway appearance in the Barrett's of Wimhall Street in 1931 team with Catherine Cornell, Brian with whom he appeared in many productions. He was born on May 2nd, 1902, Kingsport and Birmingham, the United Kingdom. And he died on February 10th, 1986 in Venice, Florida. He was 6'2". He was married uh, to Eleanor de la Guy Lavoe from 1946 to 1986, Joan Fontaine from 1939 to 1945. His brother was a dreadful man and siblings of Spanish. Now some of his movies included Sylvia Scarlet, 1935, I Live My Life, 1935, Suarez, uh, 1939 Brian and The Locket, 1946. Now, Brian Haheen uh, stars on Brian Canada Television, Arheen. located at 1752 Brian Street. That's between Hollywood Boulevard and Yucca Avenue, near the Capitol Records building. Now, he was a British Brian actor, both a stage queen and found success in Hollywood. Uh, he was born William Brian de Lacey Aheen and <coughs> Keen Norton was Trister, the son of William de Lacey Aheen, uh, by Brian his spouse Arheen. Louise Nee Thomas, educated at Edmondson, Birmingham. He had also carried out some early stage training at Atelier Gante Academy in London and had some child roles Brian before Arheen. completing his education at Melvin College. He first appeared on the stage in Birmingham with the Pimp. Pilgrim Players by 9, April 5th, 1910, and Brian Bisnella, and made his first appearance in London stage at the Garrett Theatre, December 26, 1913, and Where the Rainbow Ends, a fair play by Clifford Mill Brian and John Ramsey, Arheen. with music by Roger Cantella, which ran at various theatres for over 25 years. Brian, uh, he studied with a view to becoming an architect, but having had considered amateur and experience in Birmingham and with the Liverpool Green Room, he obtained Brian, his engagement Arheen. under Robert Cuttage and appeared in London Savory Theatre, opening on December 26, 1923, as Jack O'Hara and Reveal Patty, the next best thing, Brian, and the play W. Gower Mackey and Robert Ord. He then toured with Violet Pettigrew as Hugo in The Flame and appeared in the London Playhouse by 19, May of 1924 as Brian Langford in Leon Gordon's White Cargo, in which he played a vocal 1924 25. By 1926, he had come in Dion Buckhart Jr., Joe Australia, where he appeared Arheen. in several plays by J.M. Barry, as Valentine Brown in the comedy Quality Street, John Shand on the comedy. <coughs> What Every Woman Knows, Crichton, Brian and the Admirable Arheen. Crichton, Simon, and Harry, Harry Rose, and Will Cox, in All We Know, another comedy by Frederick Lonsdale. Uh, he reappeared in London in the Strand Brian in March of Arheen. 1927, and again in Lincoln in White Cargo, and continued in London stage in succession of plays until late 1930 when he went to America, making his first appearance on the New York stage at the Empire Theater in New York. On February 9, 1931, playing Robert Browning in Rudolph Bessler's play, The Barretts of Wimmel Street, opposite Catherine Cornell. Cornell and he remained lifelong friends, and he played in many subsequent productions. He was back in London by 1934, but returned the year that year to New York, where he appeared in December at the Martin Beth Theater in Marcano. In Romeo and Juliet with Catherine Cornell, he continued the stage appearances during his film career, which he commenced in 1934 in silent film. Hollywood says, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Hollywood says, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Hollywood says.